So first things first, I want to point out that I finally got a frame for the beautiful artwork that uh, Barnes & Noble was giving out when you got the fourth edition of the illustrated Harry Potter. Priorities. Hello everybody, it's Emily and I am here with the third video of Bookmas so to talk about some releases that I'm excited for in 2020. So this isn't a comprehensive list, I didn't go through a ton of titles coming out in 2020 and look at every single uh, synopsis for books that I didn't immediately recognize as something that I was excited about. So this is mostly sequels because I'm just browsing quickly through mostly Goodreads and uh, was just kind of quickly looking at stuff that I recognized. So I wasn't trying to look at each book and see if there was a synopsis that sounded interesting. But I wanted to at least get some titles that I'm excited about that are coming out next year. Um, so starting in January, on January 21st, we're getting The Hand on the Wall, which is the third book in the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson. I listened to these on audio in, I think, September, early October, and so much fun. I loved those two books, and I'm excited to see where the third one goes. So this is the series where um, it follows Stevie, who's at an academy in uh, in New England and she is there to solve the mystery of the kidnapping and murder that happened at the school's founding and similar stuff is starting to happen um, as she's going there as well so she's trying to figure out the past mystery as well as what's going on t at the school while she's there so that one sounds really cool uh, on to February. So on February 4th, there's actually a ton coming out on February 4th that I'm excited about. The first one is The Gravity of Us by Phil Stamper. This is just one that I've heard a few booktubers talk about that sounds really cool. So this follows two people whose parents work at NASA. And that was really all I needed to know. Uh, it just sounds really cool. And it's a, I think, a contemporary novel. And... Yeah, I don't know too much about it, but from the little that I've heard so far, sounds cool. I'm excited to keep tabs on it uh, when it comes out and see what people think. Um, so also on February 4th, there's The King of Crows, and this is the fourth book in the Diviners series by Libba Bray. So I uh, just finished The Diviners recently on audio and absolutely fell in love with the series and the characters. And um, so I'm going to hopefully... I'll need to figure out when I'm going to listen to the next two in the series, if I'm going to make it a fall thing or if I'm just going to dive in uh, because I'm so excited to continue in this series, but the fourth one's coming out in February. Uh, also in February, the third book in the Ash Princess series, uh, Ember Queen by Laura Sebastian is coming out. So I just recently listened to the first one on audio as I was going on a car trip and yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, this isn't something that I'm gonna like get my hands on immediately and immediately buy a physical copy of. I'll probably just put it on hold on audio in the library and you know, just kind of see, especially I'm probably gonna listen to the second one. Um, hopefully before the third one comes out, I'll listen to the second one on audio and if I like the second one, I can just keep going and listening to the third one on audio. Uh, so yeah, February 4th is apparently a big day for stuff I'm excited about. Uh, June 9th, so skipping a few months, there wasn't a ton in the next few months that I was like immediately excited about, but June 9th there are a couple, so uh, uh, June 9th there are s sequels coming out to books that were actually both fairy loot books. You know, not anything that knocked my socks off, but were still fun for what they were, so the first one is The Boundless, which is the second book in the Beholder series by Anna Bright. So I read The Beholder, I believe in July, and you know, it was cute. It was pretty slow paced and it kind of took a long time to pick up and for me to really get interested. And, you know, there was kind of a rush at the end that was like the hook to the next book. So I'll probably get this one on audio. I'm not terribly excited uh, to like, pick it up physically immediately. I'll probably wait for it to be at the library either on audio or physically just to kind of see what happens and see if things continue to pick up or if it was just kind of a thing at the end to hook you with the next book is also pretty slowly paced. So that one 
I'm gonna wait and see if I hear anything about it and wait for it to become available at the library. There's also The Damned, which is the second book after The Beautiful by Renee Adier. And this one I just read, uh, so I'll be sure to link that. It's actually in my last video in my November wrap up, I talked about it. And so, you know, it was fun. It was really fun. And I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. So yeah, June 9th is uh, when that one is going to come out. So on June 30th, we get Empire of Gold. So technically I haven't started this series. This is the third series. This is by S.A. Chakravorty. This is the third book in the, is it Devabad? trilogy. First one is City of Brass, the second one is Kingdom of Copper, and I'm really excited to read this series, so if I like the first two, then hopefully I can read those in time for the third one to come out, and if I like the first two, then um, you'll all be really excited for the third one to come out. So the next date that I'm excited for a couple of releases is July 7th. They all seem to come in clusters, like I won't have something that I'm excited about for a while, and then it's like two or three on one day. Anyway, on July 7th, there is the new Riley Sager book. It is called Home Before Dark. And uh, I read the synopsis on Goodreads, and it follows it follows a haunted house. That's really all. Like, I started to read the synopsis, and I was like, hey, it's a, you know, some sort of spooky haunted house. And I was like, all right, the atmosphere is probably going to be super cool. The one book that I read from him was um, Lock Every Door. And the atmosphere was definitely the best part about that book. And so I'm hoping that if it, all I wanted to know was like, all right, spooky setting. So hopefully that atmosphere will be enough to uh, make me want to pick up that book. And so I'm excited to see what that one will be like. There's also a beautifully foolish endeavor. And this is the book after An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, and I am so excited to see what happens. I'm so excited. But yeah, that one comes out in July. So we'll see what's going on following stuff at the end of An Absolutely Remarkable Thing. So yeah. August 18th is another day where I'm excited for a couple of different books. First one is The Nobleman's Guide to Scandals and Shipwrecks, and this is by Mackenzie Lee. Uh, this is in the Montague Siblings series. The first one is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, and the second one is The Latest Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, and I adored both of these books so much. I think there's a novella in this series as well that I need to get my hands on. So hopefully before this book comes out, I can read the novella. I don't remember what the title is, but I'll also put an image of that here. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I can get caught up and then read this on August 18th. There is also the second book in the Gamiho series. And the first one in this is Wicked Fox, and this is by Kat Cho. So the next one comes out on August 18th, and we'll see what happens. There was... Um, so this is another fairy loot one that, you know, was enjoyable. I'm interested to see what goes on in the series, but I don't think this is going to be a favorite series of all time for me personally, but I am curious to see what happens, and I think I'll enjoy the next one, and I definitely hope to enjoy the next one. So The last one on this list it comes out on October 1st, and it is Stuart Turton's next book, and he wrote The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. The next book is called The Devil in the Dark Water, and the synopsis that I see on Goodreads, the only thing it says, and I quote is, I have notes right here next to me, which is what I'm looking at. It says, a murder on the high seas, a detective duo, a demon who may or may not exist. I'm pumped. So I hope to be able to do this as a regular thing and kind of dig more deeply into the books coming out each month and just kind of see if there is anything that catches my eye. Because I'm sure there will be way more than this that I'm excited about next year. Uh, and I'll talk about this in my goal, my reading goals for next year video that's going to be coming out this month. I definitely am going to be trying to work on my physical TBR as a high reading goal priority. And so I'm hoping that I can control myself <laughs> and try to get to all of these books that I haven't read before I start just getting a ton of new books. So some of these I'll definitely be aiming to get on audio from the library or on Scribd. 
and trying to just help manage my physical TBR and if there's something that I've just absolutely fallen in love with then I can work on getting a physical copy and who knows maybe by the time I want a physical copy it's on Book Outlet and I can get it for relatively cheap. <laughs> Those are the books I wanted to talk about. What books are coming out next year that you're excited about? Let me know uh, so I can keep my eye out for some of those books as well. I'll be sure to leave my Twitter and Instagram down below. That's where I like to hang out. Be sure to subscribe for more bookish content. I'll also leave my climate channel linked below and I'll see you in a few days for the next Bookmas video. Bye. <laughs>